Sunaf Man Rahim, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video, actually, I saw a vlog page on RTLSDR uh, blog uh, where you can have make a spectrum analyzer. So basically, this is uh, making a spectrum analyzer uh, uh, that has a zoom capability. What I'll, I'll explain this in a little bit. So the flow graph is quite simple, and this is what I found I think on RTLSDR uh, blog where a guy has made a spectrum analyzer using GNU radio an RTLSDR dongle uh, uh, that has a zoom feature and uh, this is basically in terms uh, the way he implemented is, is using uh, a reference to a book understanding DSP and he implemented that concept and uh, I kind of like it so this is my way of presenting uh, how you can actually make a spectrum analyzer with zoom capabilities so here's the thing uh, instead of using RTLSDR dongle uh, I am using Hack RF uh, because the SDR dongle that I have, uh, it's, it doesn't go all the way up to 1800 megahertz. I do have it, but uh, the, that dongle has a problem. The actual dongle that I'm currently using that goes up to only 945 megahertz. So using this uh, particular flow graph, uh, I am scanning frequency all the way from 433 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz, which is the frequency range of your Hack RF. Here I have declared my device to be Hack RF, as you can see it, and I'm using a block called, called Osmocom source, and this is what the device argument looked like. Hack RF is equals to uh, zero. Now the next thing is uh, then uh, it's going into a rational resampler. Uh, so basically, whatever the sample rate that you have coming in by having a decimation rate of about 20, uh, you're basically down sampling it. So whatever the sample rate is coming in, you're downsampling it, and this what gives you that zoom feature because you zooming in, you're taking, you're decimating, and you're taking less samples. Hence, it providing you a zoom capability. Uh, this is the basic concept behind. Uh, this is the basic concept which is there, uh, which is coming from uh, digital signal processing. Uh, then you have a waterfall graph. So you have a rational resampler, and we're calling this is a zoom frequency sync. Then you have a waterfall sync, time sync, and then you have your frequency sync. Of course, your frequency is being controlled here using a GUI brain slider that goes from 433 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz since I'm using Hack RF. You have a gain slider as well, and then you also have GUI tab widget, which gives you different tabs like this, uh, and you can have a look at it when I run this flow graph. So the idea is same. So I'm going to run this flow graph. And once I run this, this is what a simple spectrum analyzer looks like. So this is what you're seeing, 935 megahertz. This is generally a frequency range for your uh, GSM 900. Then I can just simply move on to the frequency by using it. I'm using a step size of 500 kilo. Uh, so, so I can get a change like 939. Then I'll have 930, 95, uh, five, 500, and so on. So same way. You can start tuning in on to different frequencies and things like that. Uh, let's say 951, or frequency range of 951. Here we go. So there is also a GSM down downlink. I'll explain this. So uh, without going to have this rational resampler block, the way we were zooming it before is just simply taking your mouse, holding it uh, the left button of your mouse, and then just looking at a smaller chunk like this. This is the way that we were zooming it earlier, but this is the feature that was already there uh, in the spectrum analyzer. Uh, but the way you do it now, let me close this and let me run this again. The way you do it with rational resampler is just tune on to the particular frequency that you're interested in. So for example, I wanna go into 951 and um, let me move this a little bit so here we go let's say you want to zoom in make sure it is centered at so let me go further right here so whatever that uh, the tuning frequency is which is 953 megahertz when you press in the spectrum zoom it will just give you that frequency so make sure you're tuned into a particular frequency that you want to zoom in so in our case it's going to be 953 megahertz and when you hit that spectrum zoom, it will give you a 100 kilohertz chunk of that uh, 
the feature is going to be based on 100 kilohertz. So basically what you're looking at right now from left to right is just going to be a 100 kilohertz chunk of that particular frequency that you're zooming in. You can go back to full spectrum and let's say you want to try and try doing 18, 1800 megahertz band, which is also there. So let's say you want to zoom in on this. So right, your center at 1855. So once you press on this, let me go back a little bit right here. So you can just adjust this on here on a step size to get a fine tuning. And let's say, let me try this. Try to get a good chunk. There's no transmission. This is not being received by my eyes. Okay, here we go. And you're basically looking at 100 kilohertz from all the way here to here. You can increase that as well. Uh, let's say you want to try 2.4. 434, which is basically your GSM. So GSM is generally coming in, it looks like it's not a continuous signal, it's coming in in type of a burst, so you can also zoom in on it. So this is the zoom in spectrum of that as well. Uh, you can try 5745 or 57735 or 45. This is basically your 5G. I don't have any many 5G routers which are currently operating at my location, but that's the idea behind it. It's a very cool feature by simply using a rational resampler. Rational resampler, what it does is basically gives you a, uh, it actually decimate your sample rate by 20. So let's say, for example, you have 22 mega samples coming in, it decimates that by 20 uh, and whatever the sample rate is. So you get much lesser sample, hence it's giving you that. Uh, 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 zoom feature. So it's a very novel idea which was actually given in uh, DS, uh, Digital Signal Processing book. Uh, so I hope you like the small concept. Thank you very much uh, for watching and if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section. I will also leave a link uh, to the flow graph of the, 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 the original maker of this. So I hope you like the small video and thanks for watching and have a good day.